Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn about initial value problems. So we have another categorization of problems where we have either the initial value problem or the second category is boundary value problem. So in initial value problem, we are given the conditions at the initial point. In boundary value problem, we are given the conditions at the boundary points. This is the difference. So let's discuss each one of them in detail. In this video, we are covering about uh, we are learning about this initial value problem so the short form is IVP so here first of all let's see this first order differential equation the general notation is dy upon dx is equal to f of x y where what is f f is some continuous function of x and y x and y are two coordinates right so you have your x axis you have your y axis within this x axis and y axis you have some domain so this is some domain right we define some region here which is open and connected so this is called your domain in the xy plane in this domain if you take some point suppose this is some point this point is labeled as x0 and y0 here the value of x is x0 and the value of y is y0 correct and here within this domain d we are saying we have some function as small f this is a continuous function right it does not break at any point in this domain so with the, these conditions we can define an initial value problem to this differential equation by defining a condition onto the solution of this equation so let's mark this as equation one right so defined on some real interval so the solution is also defined on some real interval which contains x0 so we the solution is here defined on some interval which contains this point x0 right which satisfies this condition that phi at the point x0 is y0 so this is the value of x here this is the value of y here so this is the problem so what does it mean in short uh, you can define two equations one represent your differential equation right dy upon dx is equal to f of xy and in the second one you write down your initial condition what is that it is given on some initial point which is x0 this is the independent variable and the value of uh, this y0 is the value of the variable y so this is the value of y at this point x0 right this is how you write down your initial value problem now what does an uh, initial value problem signify geometrically let's have a look here at this thing you already know that uh, the solutions to differential equation they are the curves in the xy plane and this differential equation give you the slope of these kind of curves right so here let's answer this question an initial value problem what does it signify geometrically it give you again the graph of the solution phi right which is some uh, continuous function but now because this is an initial value problem so it must pass through the point having coordinates x0 and y0 right that is why we are uh, including this condition here within this coordinates that is your initial value problem is now to find an integral curve of such kind right integral curve relating to this differential equation one which passes now through this point x0 y0 right so this is what we mean geometrically so basically your curve your solution should be such that it should pass through this uh, point and moreover it should be the solution to your differential equation right so for this let's have a look at this question here an example we have to find the solution f of this differential equation this differential equation is given to us as dy upon dx is equal to 2x such that uh, at the point x is equal to 1 the solution has the value 4 now what does we uh, what does uh, give uh, what uh, what do we get here as the information we have this differential equation and we know the value of the solution at the point x is equal to 1 is equal to 4 correct so what is required here what we have to do here in order to solve this question we need to find a real function f which fulfills the following requirements what requirements the first requirement is that the function f must satisfy your differential equation and the so second point is that the function f 
must have the value 4 at the point x is equal to 1 that means the function must be such that when you put x is equal to 1 you get the value as 4 correct so we need to find a function f which satisfies these two conditions so this is what is required here in this particular problem correct moving for forward now the next question that comes to my mind when i studied this is how do we write such an initial value problem so the answer is simple the notation that we use here is dy upon dx is equal to 2x this is your given differential equation and this is the initial condition corresponding to your differential equation that is y at the point 1 is equal to 4 so this is the value of x the independent variable and this is the value of y the dependent variable correct and you need to find what is your curve y so what is y of x because it would be some function of x right so here y is the desired solution the notation y at the point 1 is equal to 4 as i've told you it states that the desired solution y must have the value 4 at the point x is equal to 1 that means whenever x is 1 the value of y is equal to 4 correct this is the notation okay the next question that comes to my mind is what is the solution to this initial value problem so we'll see this thing in our next video where we will be talking about uh, in detail the solutions to various initial value problems so i hope you got an idea about uh, how do we represent an initial value problem what is it is and what is its uh, geometrical significance well that is it for this video thank you for watching